Are you on the hunt for insider secrets to launching a thriving med spa business in its first year? Or perhaps you're contemplating the acquisition or sale of an existing med spa. In this video, I'm unveiling the proven strategies that have been in our playbook for over a decade. These are the same strategies that have catapulted aesthetic medical practices we've worked with to seven figures and beyond. For those of you who are new here, I'm Kelly Smith, CEO and founder of Projected Growth Consulting. With over 20 years in the medical aesthetics industry and having assisted over 5,000 practices, I'm an industry expert and accomplished author and speaker who has built seven-figure businesses with and for my clients. Today, I'm thrilled to delve into how I guide my clients to master staff management and create robust systems of accountability. Often when working with clients, I uncover untapped opportunities within their business or areas ripe for improvement. A recurring theme in consultations is the challenge of staff accountability. I often get the question, how do you motivate your team if incentives don't lead to desired outcomes? You can dangle the carrot of commissions, run sales contests, and encourage upselling to get better performance from your staff to meet goals. Yet, what truly matters is instilling standard practices of operations in your team like asking for reviews, capturing before and afters, and consistently recommending retail products at checkout. You want to normalize your team working towards practices success. They shouldn't just go through the motions. SOPs and measuring efforts and then measuring performance is really the key. The first step is instilling motivation within your team by clearly outlining your goals. You may be wondering, what are the goals I should have my team working towards? To determine this, you should pinpoint the five key metrics you need to review weekly with your manager to gauge your company's fiscal health. These metrics typically include sales performance, average transaction values, upselling success, booking rates, and inventory management. I recommend setting up a weekly meeting with your manager to discuss these metrics so you are on the same page and have open communication about the status of your practice and you can easily identify the successes, prioritize the challenges, and the opportunities in front of you. In order to hold your team accountable for goals you set, you need to communicate what you expect from them and what specific tasks they are ultimately responsible for. Like effective parenting, leadership requires setting clear and fair boundaries and expectations, and then getting mutually agreed upon expectations. This is called staff buy-in. It involves addressing shortfalls, offering support, and adapting goals as needed. So when you're making a system for accountability, take into consideration your team's needs and maybe even collaborate with them to ask for their insights and suggestions. The pinnacle of leadership and team management is developing systems of accountability that foster growth or identify areas of concern, all without consuming excessive time each week. So how can you set your staff and management up for ultimate success? Start with crystal clear job descriptions and measurable objectives. Each member of your team needs to know exactly what their roles and responsibilities are and should own specific tasks or areas of your business that they're expected to complete and provide results and reports on. They need to know what is the goal specifically that they are trying to achieve. Once this is in place, it will be easier for you to evaluate your team's performance based on their ability to adhere to your standard operating procedures and to see how closely aligned they are with their job description and KPIs. Next, you can implement a systematic approach to accountability. Once you have set and communicated the goals and clarified your expectation on who, how, and when each goal is to be met, you can begin to monitor progress. This could involve a spreadsheet to keep track of the tasks, such as my all-in-one KPI tool. This tool ensures that your team's efforts are aligned with your business goals 
and that the entire team is on the same page. Having a system to track accountability is only the beginning. The next step is incentivizing. Now that you have standard operating procedures, clear KPIs by team members, you can measure success in order to motivate your team with a bonus structure so they will achieve sales goals. When your team meets or exceeds these goals, that bonus system can really enhance performance and up-level their motivation. It's amazing to see how a well-placed incentive plan can encourage everyone to pull together and work as a team. They'll start brainstorming and helping each other out in an effort to hit those targets so they can all share in a bonus and reward. For example, if you're a little below your targeted revenue for the month or appointments for the month, instead of having to remind them and try to get them to do their job, this bonus system where they get paid for performance over goal is an amazing way to get your team all rowing in the same direction. If your team knew they needed to book seven more appointments to get their bonus, they would be more motivated to initiate an outbound call campaign, reach out to cold leads, do their follow-ups, or even create a social media campaign without you having to nag them and encourage them to do their job. This is to keep positive momentum going and it's crucial to hold regular meetings, measuring KPIs, and coaching people out or up. Make sure these are the same time each week and stick to a well-defined agenda. This sets clear expectations, clear KPIs, and helps everyone stay on the same page, literally and figuratively. You should be transparent about your goals so your team can work with you, not against you. This strategy not only lightens the load for managers and owners, but also empowers your team. It creates a dynamic where everyone is actively engaged, not just meeting but exceeding goals in order to get bonuses. This drives your team and your business forward and it fosters team unity, enthusiasm, and a positive company culture. By establishing a routine focused on motivation, you can empower yourself and your staff by keeping a pulse on the KPIs that matter in order to level your business to the goals you seek. If you're wanting to take a deeper dive into KPIs for aesthetics, join me for my workshop this Thursday. You'll walk away with my seven figure all in one KPI tool just for attending. Use the link below in the description to register. In less than one hour, I'm going to hand you the number one KPI tool that has created more seven figure practices than I can count. If you're ready to grow 30% in 90 days, then you need to be at this workshop. Everything I've outlined in this video should be tracked and it can be done quickly, easily, and in one seven figure KPI tool. Just by attending this workshop, you'll understand how to up-level the potential of your med spa business, ensuring future marked growth of not only revenue, but profitability. And as I always say, remember, it's all about the implementation. Please join us and learn how to identify the only KPIs that matter and how to utilize them to motivate your staff to the highest levels of sales and profitability ever.